Hi everyone, Ardit here and this is my first video as well as review for beautybulletin.com um, This is me Lady Gaga's fame to review for them and yeah when Gaga first announced that she was releasing a perfume there were rumors that it would smell of blood and semen it does not smell like that but I'm glad and she currently describes it as a slutty sensual perfume that smells something like a hooker and I'm not sure how hookers smell but flame smells quite nice and also it's been promoted as a the first ever black EDP as you can see the sample that I was sent to this packaging is black so I can't see the liquid inside it is the first of its kind this perfume is an innovation in fluid technology it's black like the soul of fame but invisible once airborne so um, I think that describes the last sentence it's black like the soul of fame but invisible once airborne describes fame completely because it's not what I expected because if you look at the advertisements if you look at the packaging it says dominant black and gold bottle lots of black in the adverts if you've seen the film for fame the five minute film that got made it's it's very dark in nature and I expected fame to reflect that, you know, that darkness, you know, the darkness of the bottle, the the videos and the adverts that they had for fame, and it's not. It's a very floral, light scent, and I like that because I like. Floral scents, floral and fruity scents are two of my favourite. Actually, my all-time favourite kind. Now I know it's kind of metaphorical, but Gaga doesn't really just you know say things. A lot of her things have meaning behind it. There's a lot of metaphors in her work, and even looking at the rest of the branding of Fame. There's a lot of artistic expression in it and, you know, meaning behind those words. So, even though we were to expect the unexpected of it being a flower scent with all this dark branding, it's, it, I think it's completely an artistic expression on Gaga's part. It doesn't affect my sinus. I suffer from sinus and normally with perfumes that I do like that are floral or fruity is that it, it would give me headaches or irritate my nose or make me tear up and because of that I don't often wear perfume but I wore this all day yesterday it didn't irritate my nose whatsoever it didn't give me a headache, it didn't make me tear up it, it was a really nice light scent I could smell it but it, it gave me no irritation whatsoever. Fame is great for the summer because it's so light and wearable. None of the notes are overwhelming. You could wear it to the beach, you could wear it to the mall, you could wear it out. I think, you know, it's a very versatile and wearable scent. And like I said, it's great for the summer. So I do think it would be also an awesome stocking filler. So if you're thinking of getting not only Little Monsters or Gaga fans a gift for Christmas, fame should. You should definitely consider fame. 